Today on Contractor Fight TV, we're going to talk for a couple minutes on whether or not you should be accepting these in your business. Stay tuned. All right, homies. Should you accept credit cards in your contracting business? Um, yes. In short, yes, yeah, so you can stop watching this right now, but I'm going to make the case here five ways or five reasons that I believe you should be accepting credit cards in your business. This is, uh, this is a, a topic that comes up a lot where, where guys will get very, um, what's the word I'm looking for, aggressive about not wanting to, um, to accept them. And I remember in, in a past life, one of my business partners for, I don't know, it seemed like months, it was maybe a year or more, but it was several months where he fought it. And I was on the other end going, we need to accept credit cards. And he was going, I don't want to accept credit cards because I don't want to pay the, you know, the three point whatever percent fee it is because that's money that we're just giving away. So here's five reasons that I believe that you should be uh, accepting a credit card for your services. The first one is this, it builds trust. It does, think about this. When a company accepts a credit card, in my mind, it's, it's much like you have a website, you have a professional identity, logo, things like that in your business. Uh, it, it, it lends credibility like you're a real business. And in my opinion here in 2019, a real business accepts credit cards. When you don't accept credit cards, and we're gonna get into some other reasons here, I think it, it chips away um, at the confidence somebody has when they're gonna do business with you. So first and foremost, down and dirty, quick and simple, I believe accepting credit cards helps build trust. The second reason that I believe you should accept credit cards is that it protects the consumer. Think about this for a second. Let's just say you're a shady piece of crap contractor, which I know you're not because you're watching this. The, the shitheads don't watch my channel. But as a consumer, I personally, if I have a large purchase to make, I'm more likely to swipe a credit card because I can, I can get the charges reversed I can protest those things and whatever they call it, whatever that language is in the credit card world. So I believe it protects them, it gives them some peace of mind, which again helps build the case for trust. So when somebody, let's say you have, um, uh, you go out, you do a shitty job, put yourself in the consumer's shoes right now. You hire somebody to come in and do five, six, eight hundred thousand dollars worth of work, small job, you put it on a credit card, they didn't deliver what was promised, there's a dispute, all that other stuff you will be able to then contact your credit card company and say, I'd like to put a hold on that charge. So from the consumer point of view, it offers protections for, for them, which in turn, I believe, legitimizes you in the sense that you're willing to say to the consumer, hey, if we don't deliver as promised, you're gonna get your money back. So protection is number two. The third reason that you should accept credit cards for your contracting business is it will increase sales. People are more likely to impulse buy with a credit card because it's not cash, it's not, they're not looking at their bank account. They know that, hey, I can buy this now and pay for it later. And that's their own business when they pay their damn credit card bill. But the point is, is you know, when, I'm, when my painting business years ago started accepting credit cards, our average ticket went up because you know, I'd be like, yeah, it's you know, five grand to paint the walls. If you want to add the ceilings, it's another, you know, you know, 2,800 bucks or whatever, they're more likely to throw that on there. They're more likely to spend more money on their credit card. And the reason they're willing to spend more money on their credit card, like the credit card I showed you at the top of this video, all right, that card that I have is my travel rewards card. So I want to put as much money on that thing as I can so that I can buy airline tickets and have all the other benefits that come with that. Number four, number four, not eight. I know four and four looks like eight, but number four reason that you should be accepting credit cards in your business is your competitors do. A lot of your competitors accept credit cards. There are actually places I go, I forget, I forget offhand where I was the other day, but I walked in and it was like cash only. And I didn't have any cash on me. 
and I turned around, it might have been, I don't know, a deli or I was getting lunch or something. And I turned around and I went to one of their competitors down the road because it simply, they, I, I was able to pay for it. I didn't have the cash. There was no ATM right there. Okay, so you wanna, you wanna level the playing field with you and your competitors as much as you can. And if this competitor and this competitor accept credit cards and you don't, it's just gonna make it harder for them to do business with you. And finally, the fifth reason that you should be accepting credit cards in your contracting business might be the most important reason is it's convenient. Kind of touched on it in one before that your competitors do and I left and went to another place, but it's convenient. It's just simple, it's easy. There are so many people that are used to swiping that card everywhere they go. You hop online, you push a couple buttons and boom, it's charged. You go to Amazon, it's the only way you can pay on Amazon, right? You can't whip out cash there. People are in the habit of having that convenience in their life of being making things simple to buy and if you don't accept credit cards um, again put yourself in the consumers shoes they might not have a problem with your price they just have an issue with where they're going to draw the money from I, I had a client many many years ago when I did not accept credit cards and they're like, yeah, dude, the price is fine. Give me a couple days because I got to transfer some money from you know, this investment account or whatever the hell they had to their checking account. Then I could cut you a check. Don't cash the ch check. You know, they'd have to post state. The it's just not simple. We want to make it as simple as possible for people to buy from us. The, the 2.9, the 3.1%, whatever that rate is that you're being charged, Fellas, if you are charging enough for your services, if you're bringing more customers into the business, increasing your revenues, making it simple, uh, they're spending more on the average ticket because they're using a card, that 3% is freaking irrelevant. That 4%, 3%, I don't even know what the hell it is anymore. It's irrelevant because you're gonna be priced right, your average ticket is higher, it's a wash to me, it's a cost of doing business, it's the cost of simply per, uh, acquiring a customer for your contracting business. So in short, should you accept credit cards for your business? You're damn right you should. I think it's fucking stupid if you don't. I truly do. I think it is absolutely stupid if you don't. Another example, I had a $60,000 job. The guy had, it was a $30,000 deposit. He had 20 grand where he could write me a check. He said, can I put the other 10 on a credit card because my bonus check is coming in a month from his company. I said, absolutely. Made it simple for him. Remember, time kills deals and the more complicated it is for somebody to buy from you, then they're gonna look elsewhere. All right, so simple enough. Hopefully that makes sense. Finally, I wanna make sure that you know that every month in the contractor fight, we have what's called contractor fight night. This is about a two hour training every single month where hundreds of contractors from all around the world, we got New Zealand, Australia, we got all over Europe, we got Canada, we got Mexico. It's crazy, all over the United States, obviously. So if you're looking for a way to grow your business and you don't have all the funds for some of the more expensive contracting programs that are out there in the world for you, Contractor Fight Night is a great way, entry level way to get the help that you need for your business so you can grow your profits, grow your sales, grow your team, and those things. So if you want to learn more about Contractor Fight Night, go to contractorfightnight.com, click the link in the description, head there, check out what this current topic is for the month, and I guarantee you, uh, just like the hundreds of other contractors every month, there's always at least one golden nugget in this two-hour training every month that will help propel your business to that next level. You guys rock. We'll see you next time on Contractor Fight TV.